The imagination has long been a subject of uh, speculation, discursive commentary, it's sometimes treated mystically. It's now becoming a subject of serious scientific examination. If we were studying any other species, and that species were spending as much time and effort on a behavior as humans spend on telling stories and watching television series, going to concerts, going to museums, watching sculptures and paintings. We couldn't have a complete picture of this species life cycle, of this species delegation of energy across its life without accounting for, uh, for that behavior. And presently, we haven't accounted for artistic behavior. All kinds of human behavior, and that includes cultural behavior and aesthetic behavior, is ultimately lodged in human biology. It's a product of human biology. So if we want to understand the structure and the function of literature, films, music, religion and politics, we really have to know something about the way in which humans are constructed. We have to know something about human nature. I'm really excited about evolutionary studies and imaginative culture because it fills a gap. We really need a top-notch journal to publish cutting-edge research on evolutionary studies and imaginative culture. Our subject matter is uh, primarily the humanities, but we also want to be a gathering ground for uh, all, the, all, the, all the social sciences, all the evolutionary social sciences. And when you bring the evolutionary social sciences, which are in themselves interdisciplinary, into conjunction with the evolutionary humanities, uh, you have a, a range of information that no one person can be completely expert in. Everybody has to have specialized areas of expertise, but everybody needs to know uh, what the whole range of information offers to them. Humanists and social scientists and natural scientists are coming together to essentially try to solve this riddle of imaginative culture. We aim for the journal to become a primary place where people go to publish cutting-edge research in evolution and imaginative culture and also a place where people go to stay updated on what is happening in that field. One of the ways in which we do so is by publishing reviews of all the most important, prominent book publications within the field. We've had about 20 books reviewed per issue so far. I don't think we've let many, if any, uh, major books in the evolutionary social sciences escape our attention in the three issues that we've produced so far. So far, the journal has published research on a wide range of topics. We have published work on climate fiction and uh, narratives of climate change, as well as research on the leadership style of Donald J. Trump, which is not unlike the leadership style of a, an alpha male chimpanzee. We have uh, articles on, on ancient cave art next to articles about uh, the therapeutic function of music and the evolution of rhythm across species. Everything we do, we judge on the basis of the stories and images and songs that we derive from our, from our culture. All of that is essential to being human. And what we want to do is to connect all of that kind of behavior, imaginative behavior, with the, the simple, basic, universal aspects of human behavior that have derived from our evolutionary history. We have a huge mission in this journal. We're really trying to understand the arch, to put all the pieces together and to start to solve this riddle.